Let's learn English at the mall. So I thought it would be a, a good idea to make another English lesson at the mall. I did one of these a few years ago now, but I thought it would be fun to do another one. So here we are at the mall, and I wanted to start by telling you about three verbs that I use when I talk about the mall. I would say something like this. I'm here today to go shopping. I might also say I'm here today to do some shopping. Be careful with that one though. You do need the word some in there, or you can even use a little bit. I'm here today to do a little bit of shopping. Uh, and then also in English, we like to use the word grab a lot. I'm here to grab some things. Um, I'm not actually going to buy anything though. This is, uh, I'm just giving those as examples. But once again, welcome to this English lesson at the mall. So I'm happy because this mall still has a map of the mall. You can see a map of the mall up there and a list of all the stores. Um, a different mall that I was at recently, you had to download an app in order to find stores in the mall. I like this better. You'll usually find a, a map like this close to the entrance of the mall. We would call that the entrance. There's no main entrance in this mall though. There's just a lot of entrances, like one on every side of the mall, if not more. So the map of the mall and one of the entrances. Oh, and by the way, mall is actually the short way of saying shopping mall. So I am right now at a shopping mall in Burlington, Ontario. If I wanted to speak quickly though, I would just say right now I'm at a mall in Burlington, Ontario. So in North America, we generally refer to all of the places where you can buy things as either stores or shops. We use those two words interchangeably quite a bit. I know if you're learning British English, there might be a slight difference uh, between stores and shops, but uh, this behind me, I would call it a store. I might also call it a shop. I would use both words interchangeably. But uh, this down here, let me spin you around. You look down here, I would call this a kiosk when it's located kind of in the, uh, the middle part of the mall, we call these little things kiosks. You can see down the middle, there are a number of different kiosks here. You can buy a case for your cell phone. You can buy, buy popcorn. And here uh, you can buy more cases for your cell phone or a cell phone if you need one. So I thought real quick, we should review the vocabulary we use to talk about different kinds of stores. This store behind me is a computer store. This is a place where they sell computers. This store here is a shoe store. This is where you would come if you wanted to buy a new pair of shoes. This is a clothing store. You would come to a store like this if you needed to buy a shirt or a skirt or maybe you need a suit. You would definitely come to a clothing store if you needed to buy clothes. We also still have department stores at our malls. A department store is a large store that sells pretty much everything. This department store sells clothing, but if you look over here, you can also buy pots and pans and other things for your kitchen. So these stores are, are generally quite big. Um, department stores uh, generally have everything and usually there's more than one floor. I think this one has two or three floors. There's lots of things you could buy here. So right now I'm going down the escalator. An escalator is this really cool thing that you can go on when you want to get from one floor to another. Um, it's kind of like stairs for lazy people. Um, I remember as a kid, the first time I went on an escalator, I actually forgot to take a step at the end and I tripped. But uh, as an adult, I'm pretty good at going up and down the escalator. So I personally have not done a lot of shopping at a store like this. This is a dress store. You would come to a store like this if you were going to a fancy party or a wedding and you needed to find a dress. So I have been to a store like this though. This is a jewelry store. Uh, I have been to jewelry stores not to buy jewelry for myself, 
but I have bought jewelry for Jen in the past. So this is a jewelry store. This is where you would come if you needed earrings or maybe a necklace uh, or maybe a nice ring. So at the mall, there are a lot of stores, but the two kinds of stores that I see most often would be clothing stores. And if you look behind me over here, another shoe store. I find that the majority of the stores at malls in my part of the world are either selling clothing or they're selling shoes. So the store we're about to go in is one of my favorite stores. Uh, I love bookstores. I love coming and seeing what new books have come out recently. Uh, this bookstore in particular is a very, very nice store to shop at. I've bought many, many books in this bookstore. So if you are athletic, if you like to play sports, you might want to go to a sporting goods store to buy some shoes or some shorts or other athletic gear. I'm not sure if that's the name that's used around the world in English, but in Canada, we would call this a sporting goods store. You can come here and buy anything you need for playing different sports. You could buy a basketball, you could buy ice skates. I'll show you some on the wall right here. After all, we are in Canada. There are a lot of different ice skates available to be purchased here. So if you are into sports, if you like playing sports, this would be the store for you, a sporting goods store. So sometimes you're not feeling well. And if that's the case, you might want to go and find a drug store. So in Canada, we would call this either a drug store or a pharmacy. This is a place you would go if a doctor gave you a prescription and you needed to get it filled. Or maybe you just need uh, something because you have a headache or maybe because you've hurt yourself and you just need some bandages. So you would then go to a drugstore. When my kids were younger, they loved going to stores like this. This is a toy store. So if you needed to buy puzzles or games or stuffed animals or any other types of toys, this would be a great store to come to. So always a favorite with my kids when they were little, this is a toy store. So it doesn't surprise me that this store is closed. This is what we would have called a record store or a CD store. This is a place where you could buy music, but people usually don't buy their music that way anymore. Usually they get their music online. So a store like this used to be very, very popular, but as you can see, even though the mall is open, this store is closed. So if you're wondering why there aren't very many people here, it's probably because I'm here on a Monday afternoon. So generally people shop a lot on the weekends and maybe at night after work, but uh, I'm here today at one o'clock on a Monday. So the mall is a little bit empty. So it's pretty common for Canadians to go south in the winter. Jen and I don't do that very often, but if we did, we might come to a store like this to buy a bathing suit. Yes, this is an entire store that is just filled with bathing suits and things you would buy if you were going south for the winter. So this is another store that I don't know a lot about, but this is a store that sells makeup. So if you needed nail polish or you needed lipstick or you needed anything else, eyeliner, I don't even know all the words that you would use to describe what they sell in this store, but you would come to this makeup store if you wanted to buy those things. So when it comes to stores that I don't really know anything about, and I might actually blush a little bit as I talk about this one, uh, this is a lingerie store. This is a store you would go to for more intimate apparel. I guess that's a good way to describe it, but it's here, it's at the mall. I've never shopped here, but this is a lingerie store. So I've mentioned this in other videos. Uh, when you're in Canada and you need to go to the washroom, you look for a sign like this. And yes, we do use the word washroom. Uh, if you were in the United States, you might use bathroom or restroom, but uh, certainly if you need to go to the washroom or go to the bathroom uh, or go to the restroom, you would certainly find one at a mall. And it's usually in the food court. It's usually at the back of the food court. 
So this is one of my favorite places to go to in any mall. This is the food court. Uh, the food court is the place in the mall where you can find all different types of restaurants. Uh, in this food court, you can buy french fries, you can buy uh, coffee, you can buy bagels, you can buy chicken, you can buy subs, uh, you can buy almost anything in this food court. Uh, I think I might get some food myself in just a minute, but there's so many choices, I'm not sure what I'm going to get. Hi. Could I get a double buddy burger with no onions? It's right here, where are you going? For here, please. Do you like anything else? No, that's it. And how would you like to pay? Uh, I tap. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a good day. Yeah, thank you. You too. Well, hey, thanks for watching this English lesson at the mall. If this is your first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if this video helped you learn a bit more English. And if you have some time, uh, I'm going to eat my burger, but why don't you stick around and watch another English lesson. Bye.